Let's take this outside. Today, I wanted to share a bunch of cool Nintendo goods that can only be found in Japan. I've actually got a bunch of really cool stuff spanning from food to toys to whatever the heck this is. All right, let's get started with some crafts. This is an Animal Crossing origami pack that I picked up at a local shop and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit but origami is something that I barely practiced and I'm probably not very good at. So let's see, as soon as we open this up we've got a bunch of different sheets of paper. I'm gonna look up a little online guide with my phone but then I'm not gonna cheat and as you guys will see I'm just gonna have my phone set up as a secondary camera and I'll look at the guide once and see if I can memorize it and go from there. This makes no sense. Am I supposed to rip it? I, I really don't think I'm supposed to rip it. Uh, sorry guys, I think I'm gonna have to make something else. This box is just too difficult. Many hours later. Okay, so because I'm a little baby, a little, little can't do origami baby, I decided that I'm gonna give up on the fox. It's way too difficult. You have to be a genius to figure it out. I am gonna go instead with this crane. Little paper crane. It's on a free kids crafts website. It should be the easiest thing I can make. I don't know if this is breaking the rules, the law system of origami, but I'm gonna use the same piece of paper that's been folded a billion times and let's see if I can figure out this crane. A nice, peaceful, relaxing crane. Left wing, right wing, tail, and I think that's gonna be the head. Success! Next, I wanted to try some character-related snacks. I already made a video about this recently, and so if you wanna check that out, check out the link right here. But in the meantime, there's actually a bunch of other snacks that I didn't know existed here. It's these Pikmin gummies, and you've got a bunch of different flavors. You've got red for apple, got yellow for orange, blue for grape, and then there's this white Pikmin, and it can either be strawberry or lemon flavored. It's good. Next I'm gonna try this mystery one. I really wanna know what flavor it's gonna be. So I'm gonna try and take a guess. Mmm. Lemon for sure. And sticking to the theme of gummies, I also found these Mario gummies, which is kind of cool because they're cola flavored. And cola for some reason in Japan is considered like cool and exotic. So we've got Mario and we've got Pikmin. Let's see them face off and see which one is more delicious. All right, so bath bombs are really popular in Japan. I didn't even realize this until I opened it just now, but there's a little sticker included in each one of these. There seems to be a lot of Kirby related stuff in Japan for some reason. I mean, I'm not complaining because I love Kirby a lot. This is another thing that I picked up that I really want to show off. It is a Kirby water gun. <laughs> hey! A Kirby water gun! And lastly, we have these coloring books that are based on different Nintendo franchises. What about two? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah! Animal Crossing and Super Mario. Only problem is I was looking for my pencil crayons everywhere and I couldn't find them. So I have these four markers that I'm limited to. Best I could do, okay? What do you think, Kirby? Nope. Oh my, uh, Luigi? Who are you? 
Tu sakata ko ni Pedro Toro. Enough! Nani? 